Hey everyone, we are live at five. It is what day? Wednesday. It is Wednesday. Thank God I got that right. That's April right. 4th. I'm Paul Lantora. And I'm Ryan Lee Gilbert. And we are joined by content producer, Mr. Matt Roden. Ooh, it's so cold in here today. It feels like it might be frozen. Wow, that's I can't why. Even deal. <laughs> we we do have a very special guest representing Disney's Frozen today. John Riddle. That's why I did that. On Come live on, at I'm five. Just trying to tie it. No, I got, got it. it. Yeah. <laughs> We're very excited to talk to John. Yes. He's fantastic. But first, oh, today's top five. All right, so uh, big, 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 big news today. Five bigs. We got principles for the new musical Moulin Rouge. Paul. Yeah. Just so, kidding, Well, Ryan, Ryan, Ryan I'm going to talk <laughs> about this. We're both going to talk We're about it. We're both going to talk about it. So this is huge. This is huge for everybody, especially us, because so many Broadway.com favorites. You have Broadway.com Audience Choice Award winner Aaron Tveit and Tony Award winner Karen Olivo leading Moulin Rouge, she the won musical. She the Broadway.com Audience Choice Award. She too. did as well. Yes, yes, like, yes, absolutely. All right. uh, they're playing Christian and Satine in the musical, but it doesn't end there. We also have Danny Burstein as Harold Zidler. He's, he's new to this. He's they new did, to this. They did the right. workshop, or the lab, as they call them. The developmental lab. Um, Sar Ingaja is playing Toulouse Lautrec. You have Tam Mutu as the Duke, which is just That's phenomenal. I can't yeah, wait I like to see that. Ricky Rojas as Santiago and Robin Herder as Nini. Uh, book by John Logan. Direction by Alex Timbers. Choreography by Sonia Taye. Where's Amazing. it going to premiere, Ryan? It's going to premiere at Boston's brand newly restored Emerson Colonial Theater. So the dates, you'll get to see it beginning June 27th. It'll officially open later that month, and it will run through August 5th in Boston. And then Boston. Broadway. And the, then, so Broadway, no, it's, Broadway. it's headed to but, Broadway, but, but no know, theater, the Emer no dates. The Emerson Colonial Theater is mm. a famous pre-Broadway tryout theater from back in the day. Really? Classic musicals have tried out there. Do you know any? I know. I, I don't. Oklahoma. Grand Hotel. Grand. Uh, I should have guessed. I'm an idiot. I should have guessed that. <laughs> if you were. But no, this is super exciting. We can't. I can't wait. To does see it this. does I'm, it overlap with Jagged Little Pill? Is for the one question. weekend, you can go to Boston and see both shows. Mm -hmm. I've heard that. Wow. I will not be waiting until the final no, weekend of Jagged Little Pill to not. see it. No. So I'll be going to Boston twice. Yes, me see too. See you there. Um, we got nominations for di today for the Off-Broadway Lucille Lortel Awards. Paul, I don't expect you to read the whole list, but uh, give us some highlights. <laughs> well, you printed out the whole list. Of course me, I Matt. did. I wanted so, you to have everything. Thorough. Why thorough. don't we just read the whole list? Let's just go That's, through it. Yeah. It'll be like a live broadcast. John Riddle will get to say hello. Um, let, let's get down to what this is. These are, these are the fancy off Broadway yes. awards. Yep. These are that's what they are. Uh, there's 19 categories, and oh my God, Laura Benanti and Jason Jones will be hosting the awards on May 6th at 7 p.m. Um, a lot of cool people we know are nominated. Yeah. So I mean, should like, I give you some hot? Oh, are you yeah, gonna cut no, in? No, go ahead. What do you want to no, say? No, Torch I was song? gonna. No, I, of course. Go yeah. Ahead, say the, it. Uh, yeah. Torch song, absolutely. Michael Yuri for Torch song. Broadway bound. Broadway bound. Headed here to the. That Helen that Hayes. is coming to Broadway. Yeah. I feel like we're always interested in the musical category. Yes. So there's something called Bella and American Tall Tale, which I actually don't know. I didn't get to see. But it's a Kirsten no. Childs musical. Uh, Desperate Measures is interesting which, because it's coming back mm -hmm, to New World Stages. New World Stages, yeah. And also nominated, let me just go through these notes. <laughs> uh, also so Lauren Molina. Shady. Lauren, Lauren Mo Molina. Well, the, the notes are vague. Uh, Lauren Molina <laughs> got nominated for that, and we know her. She's been here, and mm -hmm. she's nominated. She's uh, 100 Days. Yes. Oh, so good. Oh, I did, oh, I did a little interview days. performance thing with them in we here. We did. They, they were, were in here. The 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 bang the, the Bangsons the bang Bangsons I don't know how the Bangsons yeah uh, Jerry Springer the opera so and funny. K pop which is that show that I didn't see no and it got, got so the most many nominations. nominations nine nominations including a performance nomination for Miss Ashley Park yes currently featured in Broadway's Mean Girls right. So congrats to everyone. Yeah, um, another job. show that got nominated is Schoolgirls, the African Mean Girls play. And that is what this next story is about, Ryan. Yes, absolutely. So this was a huge hit. It was extended a couple of times at MCC's Lucille Lortel Theater. And it was so popular that it's coming back for a return engagement. It'll come back October 16th, going back to the Lucille Lortel, of course. Rebecca Tashman is repeating her directing duties, of course. And it will play there through November 25th. So if you didn't get to see the African Mean Girls the first time, you can go back and, and see it And if you can't get time. into the Broadway Mean Girls. Then you can go see this one. But you should see them both. Options. You should see them both. Because they're both... Well, I haven't seen 
Mean Girls on Broadway yet, but this was incredible. It's great. It was so good. But I loved it. Can I ask you a question? Why? Oh, why, you can. Paul? Why and Ryan? Why would why why would they bring it back for a couple of weeks off Broadway? Like, are they trying to get it to transfer? Like, what is the? Well, we do know that MCC is moving their whole business up to Hell's Kitchen. They've got a, a whole new, new complex, and so I think that they want with the rest of the the rest of the time they have the Lucille Lortel. Bring back a popular show that people loved that maybe not enough people got to see. And that wasn't yeah. really an answer, but sure. I, I, I appreciate it. So more people it. can see a great play. Love that. Uh, we have a new show people up, Paul. Who's on it? Ah, <laughs> one of my favorites. Yes. I called him my favorite living um, Broadway composer. Mm-hmm. Is that still thought, true, Wait, you is think? that true? I don't want to piss anyone off, but I love David Yazbeck. So David Yazbeck, answer. come on. Yeah, absolutely. Lamonte, Dear Dirty Scoundrels, Women on the Verge of a Breakdown, and a little show called The Band's, the Band's Visit, Visit yeah. which um, w- is going to be a big Tony nominee. Absolutely. Right? I mean, that, I mean it's going to be, yeah. That's all going to happen soon. Uh, David planned. Yazbeck was crazy and fun, and mm-hmm. I love him, and we had a great time, and he crossed his legs for the entire interview. That was so cool. And yeah. I let people sit however they want to sit. Absolutely. It's their if time. If John Riddle wants to sit on top of the table for Live at Five, he can do he that. You can. Yeah. 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 Where <laughs> where can they get the episode? Where <laughs> yeah. is the episode? Where is the episode now? Where is it? Yeah. It's, it's on Broadway.com. <laughs> is it released as a podcast yet? It's everywhere. It will be a pod. Thank you for <laughs> thank you for the cross promotion. <laughs> That's my job. This is my job, okay? This is what I'm we supposed to, to do. So yes. we are doing a show so people. We're doing a show people podcast now with, with yeah. some customized introductions by me. Mm-hmm. Uh I listened to the last one. I was like, okay, that was a little too much. I talked for too long. So anyway, that'll be up like tomorrow. So you can, if you don't want to look at us, but you should look at us. Yeah. No, it's great. It's great. Uh, and the last but not least, uh, speaking of things you can watch, Puffs, movie theaters. Puffs. Ryan. Yeah, so Puffs is the Off Broadway spoof phenomenon. comedy. Yeah, phenomenon. It's moved up to a couple theaters. It is currently at New World Stages. You can still see it there. This is the comedy play that is kind of a spoof of another wizarding boy who went right. to a He's school. He's trying to say Harry Potter. But I, you know, just well, because the, the we can show, say it. We, we can, can say it. Say it. So exactly. Yes. Just because the show can't say they're Harry right. Potter. So, it's Harry Potter. So Harry it Potter follows spoof. like the Hufflepuffs, you know, from Harry Potter. But it's super funny. And if you don't want to see it off Broadway, you can go see it in the theater. It'll be playing in over 600 cinemas. That's On crazy. May 9th and May 12th. That's insane. It's yeah. a big yeah. deal. Fathom events. That's a big deal. This. So Puffs. Live on live on stage off Broadway. That's amazing. Yeah. I love so it. So cool. That's it. And that's it. That's yeah. all. That oh, I, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you want to read the rest of the Lucy <laughs> Lortel. No, no, John. That's what John Riddle's gonna do. <laughs> so um, before he does that, thank you so much, Ryan. My pleasure. Matt, thank you so why don't much. you tell us a little bit more about? I would cast. love to. John made his Broadway debut opposite Chicha Rivera. You ever heard of her? This past spring. Well, not this past spring. I guess it was last two couple springs ago. Uh, and Canner and Ebb's The Visit, and he's also previously appeared in the Kennedy Center's world premiere production of Aaronson Flaherty's Little Dancer, and on the national tour of Evita, and he's worked around the country doing a bunch of, you know, regional gigs like you do. He's currently starring as Hans of the Southern Isle in Disney's Frozen on the Broadway, and that's what he is here to talk about today. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have questions for John, and I know that you do, leave them in the comment section below, and we'll get to as many as we possibly can. And now, here is Paul and John Riddle not sitting on the Live at Five table. I tried. I know you did. I saw I saw you make the effort. <laughs> How you doing? I'm just fantastic. Thank you for coming in. Thanks for having me. Look at you. You're a Disney prince. Yeah. And, and other things, too. I mean, A couple other things, but right yeah. now, a Disney prince. <laughs> uh, how, how's life? I mean, how's it going? I mean, you guys opened what? Like we a, opened. A um, we ago? opened two weeks ago. Well, two weeks ago. Was it two weeks? I guess okay. it was like a week and a half ago. Right. Yeah. Um, so now we're into it, and now we kind of figure out like, all right, this is my life after previews, and so now, we're right. So when time. a show when a show is rehearsing and in previews, it, it's sort of constant work. Oh yeah, you're so, at the theater. We live at the theater. It's kind of great. You have an apartment in Midtown right. that you don't pay for. So how <laughs> is so how much how has your life changed now since opening? Like now you're. We discover uh, friends. Well, I'm sleeping a bit, sleeping? which is nice because we didn't do a whole lot of that. Uh-huh. So I'm sleeping a bit, and um, I have a garden in my apartment. So what? Yeah, I do. I just moved, um, and I have a garden and what outside. What happens in that garden? Well, nothing yet, but I'm just waiting for spring to come so we can. What do you mean you have a garden? You mean like a like a plot like of land? A you plot of dirt land on in, your floor of your apartment. Well, it's in, I'm in the I'm in the ground floor of a of a brownstone oh. in, in Brooklyn. Aren't you fancy? Uh, not really. I just pretend. 
Um, so yeah, I'm just waiting for that. Maybe plant some vegetables or something. And wow. You know, try, like try to be a normal person. Okay. I'm not a New Yorker. Okay. That's not really a normal That's New me, Yorker, I suppose. But, but I'm into it. <laughs> yeah. I'm into it. New Yorkers are bodegas, but you can. Well, open. I still love a bodega too. <laughs> <laughs> I live off the bodega. Truly. So how is the frozen world? How you've been in the world for a while now. Yeah, I've been in the world for like, it's been a, over a year and a half maybe yeah, now. Since you first got it. Uh-huh. Let's talk about how you got the role. Do you want the real happened? story? What was the, yeah, I want to hear what happened. Um, well, I actually originally went in to play the king. Okay. Like, a, I don't know, a long time ago. And then I did the audition, went in for the team, and um, and Michael Grandage said, hey, can you come back and and read the stuff for this guy, Hans? That and guy. That guy. And then I came back and did it and got the job a while later. And that was pretty like, that was straightforward it. story. Yeah. Well, um, <laughs> yeah, but then there was like, then we did the workshop and then it was sort of another journey to um, to where we are now. But Was, it, now was it scary to get cast in a big role like that and you're not really a known Broadway actor? I mean, I knew I saw you in The Visit, which was a mm -hmm. beautiful little show, but it didn't, it didn't run very long. No. Um, is it terrifying when you get handed a role like that and you're like, wow, this is a great opportunity. Kids have dolls of this character. Truly. And then you start doing the readings and the workshops and the laboratories. Mm -hmm. And um, are you like terrified? Like I, I gotta like step up. I gotta do it. I gotta. Are you just? There's kinda... no time to be terrified. You know, like of course you may have that moment, but then you just gotta you gotta do the thing at the end of the day. Yeah. yeah. Or you're not gonna do it. Right. So you might as well just do the thing and then right. and then do it. And what do you love about this guy? I love. Um, Spoiler alert, he's the bad guy. Oh, that is a spoiler. Am, no, I, I've, I've am I allowed to say that? Um, uh, so I love I love playing, you know, being the nice guy and singing the pretty songs, and then you get to turn and be a jerk. Right. So you and really chop do Casey's, get that. Casey right. Levy's head off with a sword every night, or try. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Who wouldn't want to do that? Uh-huh. And what's it like? What is it like at the theater and like being backstage and all? I mean, it's just such a beautiful show and the costumes and it's like and it's, nuts. it's crazy. Well, there's no space first right. of all. I can't We're like there is. jammed in, and they had to make that theater bigger in order to fit the show in the first they, place. Yeah, they St. James. They yeah. chopped the back wall off of the theater. Did you insist on that? I like, demand. We need it. more space. Yeah, I was like, this is not going to work. <laughs> Tom Schumacher, we need to blow the theater out. Um, so there's no, sp we're really, we're really packed in there. Like Ellen says, pickles. Oh. Um, and <laughs> I share a dressing room with Greg Hildreth. Oh, that's which fun. is oh wow, well, that's sharing <laughs> it with two people. Is is Olaf in there too? Olaf's or? not in there. Okay, good. Uh, Olaf lives on the deck. So, okay. um, but he comes up every once in a while. Oh, okay. We have to like <laughs> mess with him. Um, so that's great fun. Speaking, of, we have a, our own garden in our dressing room wow. as well because Greg is a big plant person too. Oh. I don't know if you knew that, but he is. So um I didn't know that. So that yeah. That fun fact. Yeah, fun fact. Um so we just have a great time. We're yeah. and we're, we also share we're on the same floor as Jelani Aladdin who plays Kristoff mm -hmm. and the two Svens, the yep. the reindeers. So we just laugh a lot. Like the guys ordered pizza today during intermission, which I can't do that because yeah. Well, what, yeah. So you you just did a matinee. Yeah, we just had a matinee. This is matinee day. And then so. we're gonna go do another show tonight. Right. Yeah. What, do you what's a, what do you normally do between shows? But if you're not doing live uh, reviews at Broadway.com. That's correct. Um, we sit around and we've sort of made our dressing room another home. You have to. Yeah. You know. So we sit around, lay on the floor, eat some Thai food. Uh huh. That's about it. Maybe go for a walk. Okay. Yeah. Where keep are it, you from? Keep it chill. Where did this? Where did all this Broadway dream stuff start? I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. Okay. Originally, um, I saw a. Well, I was was into the theater, and I was I saw. Let's see. I saw Phantom of the Opera in Toronto okay. when I was five years old, wow. and my, um, my dad said I sat there the whole time like this and just stared at the stage, and then after the show was rattling off all these things. He was like, I didn't even see the elephant doing whatever oh, wow. it was doing. Okay. So I think that's kind of where I got hooked. Uh -huh. And then um, I didn't want to be, a, well, I wanted to be an actor for a little bit. And uh -huh. then I was like, this is crazy. So I was going to be an architect. Oh. And then I had architect dreams at one point. You did? Yeah. I think, I think we're doing okay. <laughs> a lot of architects I know aren't that happy. Oh, so really? I think, yeah. Oh, I think <laughs> we're good, good to know. Um, so then and all the, actors are so happy. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hello. Um, so, and then, I don't know, I'd, the bug kind of came back again, uh -huh. and 
I said, let's give it a shot. And then I went to college and now here we are. Are, are, the, are the, the riddles of Cleveland, are there, are there any other like performers in that family? Or? No, my mom does a really good um, karaoke of New York, New York. Fun. Um, that's a good party <laughs> trick. So that's really good. That comes out is every it a, once is in a while. Is it like Eliza-ish? Or what is your mom? Uh, like? She's sort of like a Ethel Merman meets... I don't know. She's kind of a belter, though. She's like, oh, yeah. Fantastic. We yeah. love that. We're not mad at it. <laughs> she bring, <laughs> bring it out, Mom. Um, but other than that, uh, my dad's an artist, too. My dad, oh, cool. uh, my dad is uh, a lot of things, but he... Um, is a woodworker and mm. does amazing painting and carvings and wow. all kinds of stuff. So, and Great my mom was, um, apart from being a Bellatrice, she was my um, middle school principal. So that was interesting. That's very interesting. Uh, I always had lunch money and never got in trouble. But I was a stand-up <laughs> student. So. Uh, hey, Mr. Matt Roden. Oh, my God, yes. Are there any... Uh, Fan questions? Woo boy, there are fan questions. Oh, we got, brother. We got a plethora. Um, let's start off with um, this one. Choose carefully. Hmm. Lee, Lee or Leah, maybe. Uh, you play a prince on stage. Are there any other prince roles that you'd like to tackle? Well, I did um, in college. I did, did Cinderella's Prince and Into the That's Woods. That's what I was going to say. Like, which I loved. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that seemed that. right. Um, but after this... I think that um, we might have to hang it up for a little while. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. This right. is the, yeah we checked that we right. checked well, that box. Right. Well, not any better. I mean, you're doing it like a, a, like a multi million dollar A team version yeah. of it. Right. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. um, David wants to know how much has your character changed from the first book read until now? Mm -hmm. Interestingly enough, the Han stuff hasn't changed a whole lot. Yeah. They, some of the songs have tweaked. Um, but of course they added a bunch of stuff that wasn't in the movie. And apart from a little, a few little things here and there, he hasn't changed that much, hmm. interestingly enough. That must yeah. be nice. Um, yeah. well, I oh. guess you were nailing it. They were uh, like, we don't have to change that. We're good. Depends it's on the day, I don't know. <laughs> um, Alexa wants to know, what's your favorite song to perform slash here in Frozen Musical? So do you have a favorite song in the show? Uh, I love Dangerous to Dream. Which I don't know. They've released that. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Casey Levy sings it, and I never like I've heard this song a hundred million times, and then they did the they were doing the Frozen Fridays during our previews, yeah. and I listened to that song and I was like, I've never heard some of those words before because I'm in the back kind of doing some all kinds of different things. What are you doing and doing this song? I'm like just do with your dancing. <laughs> I was doing Rob Ashford's choreography, oh, okay. like this stuff. <laughs> Got it. Okay. Um, so I'm doing that. So I'm like, oh wow, never heard that before. Um, so I love that song. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. Um, George wants to know, what's your favorite part? What was your favorite part of the Avita tour? And did you get to work with Michael Grandage at all? I met Michael Grandage in, um, in Chicago, mm -hmm. uh, but I never worked with him on the show. And what was my favorite part of Avita? Yeah. I loved doing Buenos Aires every night. I mean, it was so much fun. And, and, and all, in the ensemble. I was in the you ensemble. Covered che and too. I covered Che. Right, yeah. Okay. Um, and that was a blast too. The choreography when was I, amazing. It was so much fun oh to do. God. And I'm like not really a dancer dancer. Uh -huh. And in that show, they made me be a dancer dancer. And my body's never hurt more, but I had a great time. Cool. Yeah. My God, there's so many questions. Melissa, <laughs> Brother. what are your backstage rituals? Uh, I get to the show pretty early. And. Uh, Oddly enough, the shower at the St. James is really hot and steamy and nice. That's wow. so nice. And my apartment, my new apartment, does not have the best shower. I need to talk to my landlord about that. So I, um, that's kind of a nice, like, just kind of get it going. Um, make some tea. Say hi to everybody. Okay. Do you, Check do you in. make your way around and say hi to everybody? I do. Patty Murin is on the ground floor, so she has no choice. You have to see her. And I have to walk can't past. Can't avoid Patty. You can't avoid Patty. Um, and I have to walk past Casey's room to get to my room. So I right. say hi to her. We check in. And then um, Greg and I sit and prune the plants or do whatever we do. <laughs> I don't know. Um, Colleen's got a plethora of questions. We're going to plow through them and you're going to answer them real okay. quick. Rapid fire. Go to audition song. <sighs> oh my God. Um, 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 well, for Frozen, I sing this song called Go Slow Johnny. Okay. Go to Sing karaoke door. song. Oh, I can't stand karaoke, but probably um, 
either something Elton John or um, Bruce Springsteen. Great. Favorite Disney movie besides Frozen? Uh, 100 Wild Dalmatians, the animation. Wow. With a kind of a close tie with Sleeping Beauty. Wow. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. And the last one, dream role. Do you have a dream role? Um, kind of one of the reasons why I got into all this is because I saw the national tour of The Light in the Piazza. Oh, and, oh um, man, you would so sing So I think I want to do Fabrizio. Yeah, someday. man, wow. I'm into that. That's a good idea. Um, Kyra wants to know, would you be willing to take on a Broadway.com vlog? Yes, of course. <laughs> Look at that. Offering, offering the people are, people, people, will, people will know what they want. <laughs> Um, uh, da, 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 down, down, da, down, da, down, da, down. Mm, people are asking if there's going to be a CD. I assume the answer that we is are. We're yes. actually. Re- Am I allowed to say we're recording? Can I say that? We don't know. We don't oh, know. Soon, soon, look, soon. There's going to be look. It's a Broadway soon. hit musical. Yeah, like they're not going to not put money on are. the fact that there might be a cast recording. But there are no Shh. nothing to announce. Nothing to announce right now. Uh, did you watch JCS? Someone wants to know. Oh my gosh, I loved that so much. Yeah. Yeah. I loved it. Yeah. I was in that show one time. It's so much fun to sing. Oh, this is an interesting question, and this will be the last one. Rochelle, were you able to talk to Santino about the role at all? I just met Santino Fontana. last week. Just last week. Yes. And he did, the did voice you go see Dolly? Uh, I've seen Dolly. I haven't seen him in it, but he's friends with Greg Hildreth. Hildreth, yep. who we're good buddies, and so we. Um, sat at Just Salad and just had a salad, the three of us, oh, the other day. That's what you do. Yeah. Just salad. And we didn't talk about Hans once. It was wonderful. That's nice. Yeah. It was great. <laughs> that's cool. Because I, I love that. I keep asking you if you've met him. And now you can oh, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. We had just well, a and we, we work across the street. He's over at the Schubert yeah. down at the St. James. So yeah. we can wave to each other. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, I, I guess we're kind of out of time. Yeah. I mean, yeah. there's lots. It's Patty. It's Patty. Pir- P- Pierce Cassidy. Is, uh, is Patty Muir in a good kisser? Oh. Yes. The best. <laughs> That's a good last question, I think. <laughs> I love it. That's a great one to add, Don. John Riddle, thank you for coming by in between Thanks shows. For I know me. that sometimes you might need a nap, but not you, today. You, not you made it over here. I'm glad you I came to over come to talk the fans. to you guys instead. The fans appreciate it. Uh, hey, everyone. Frozen is on Broadway at the St. James Theater. I know you secreted it. For years, and now it's here. So We're go here. see it. This guy's in it, and he's awesome. Hey, Matt, why don't hey, you take what? us out? Okie dokie. You guys know the deal. We do this live at 5. That's why the name of the show is Live at 5. Every single weekday here at 5 p.m. on Broadway.com's Facebook page. And then we put the show on YouTube, and it goes on our website. And we release it as a podcast. So if uh, you like podcasts, you should subscribe. You should subscribe. There we go. To the Live at 5 podcast, wherever you get your podcasts. Join us tomorrow for another just Amazing, amazing day of Live at Five. We'll see you then. Happy hump day, everybody. Bye.